So the first question is, um, uh, for, for students in France, what particular um, provision is given for teaching? How do you teach differently? Or are, are the teachers taught how to teach differently? Yes, at the beginning of the year, we've got a medical file mm -hmm. and uh, we're given instruction how to deal with each case because mm -hmm. they're all different and the way we've got to mark them. Okay. For example, for most of uh, dyslexic pupils, uh, we mark them, but when they speak only, mm -hmm. when not they write. But some of them we can mark when they write, but mm -hmm. we don't count the spelling mistakes. Mm -hmm. So if the, write, the word is written the way it sounds, mm -hmm. it's okay. Okay, okay. Do they get given extra time in exams, for yeah. instance? Yes. Yeah, yeah. okay, yeah. Um, and in terms of teaching, is there special teaching given or as a teacher, would a teacher be given extra training on how to deal with dyslexia and autism? Well, there, there is extra time when they've got a, a, a test mm -hmm. and um, we've got to explain more or to, to explain it differently mm -hmm. to dyslexic pupils. So if they don't understand, they are allowed to ask several times. Mm -hmm. So we can repeat so mm -hmm. that they can understand better. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. um, and when you say explain it differently, is this a repetition or is this just explaining it from different uh, from points of view? From a different way. Yeah, okay. And yeah. especially in English, sometimes I've got to translate into French mm -hmm. so that I'm sure they understand mm -hmm. it fully. Yeah. So, but I try to explain in a different way so that yeah. they can understand better. But usually, <laughs> Pupils who suffer from uh, dyslexia are not that much of a problem. Mm -hmm. I mean, they understand quickly, they can talk, usually they've got a good accent, mm -hmm. and it's only when it's written that it's difficult. Mm -hmm. But they understand uh, the way the others do. Mm -hmm. okay. it's, not a, it's not too much of a problem. And very quickly, what about autism? So is autism dealt with differently, or uh, are autistic pupils sent to a different school or educated in the same classroom? Yeah, it's very difficult. I mean, a couple of years ago, we had an autistic person and it was quite hard to deal with him mm -hmm. because he was in his own world. Mm -hmm. It was sometimes hard to talk to him. Mm -hmm. So normally more and more should be included in our um, classic uh, you know, yeah. edu type of education. Mm -hmm. but. From the time being, for the time being, lots of them are still in specific schools mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because it's very hard to include them. And is this typical throughout France or only in this region? Oh, throughout France. Throughout France, yeah. Not just in so, um, on the one hand, you say it's discouraged. Bilingualism is discouraged for, for dyslexic pupils. Well, it's not disallowed, but it's... It's, it's not disallowed, yeah. especially say that it's very difficult for yeah. them. Yeah. So they, they are not supposed to learn another language like mm -hmm. English, which is the very different way, E, mm -hmm. I, etc. Yeah. But they still do yeah. learn English. Yeah. yeah. Brilliant. And, and, and you also said, I, I became very interested in that last thing that you said. Uh, yeah, that they get help in secondary schools, mm -hmm. but sometimes when they go to high school, They've got less help. Right, right. And so why is that? Because you, well, dyslexia, it's old, but at the same time, we try to do things uh, recently. It's just a start. So yeah. primary schools, mm -hmm. then in secondary schools, yeah. but they are not uh, ready yet yeah, yeah. in high school. I suppose they will. By they the time they get to high school, we assume that mm -hmm. they have the skills to, to, to do to yeah. cope. Yeah. yeah. Brilliant. Thank you. Mm -hmm.